I don't know what I was thinking when I made my schedule today. I think it's because initially I was gonna film my Friday video yesterday during my live stream, but I did something else instead. So today I wanna film my Friday video, but I also have written to film three toy videos. So I think I'm gonna do the toy videos first, but first I need to repaint my nails a little bit. I don't wanna completely repaint them, so I'm just gonna paint over the existing polish with this. And yeah, we'll just do that. My beautiful babies. My stomach keeps making girly sounds. <laughs> Looking, do you hear that, baby? You hear my tummy? I don't know if they could hear that on camera. <laughs> it's like non stop. I didn't really feel like doing my hair today, so it's just gonna be this. <laughs> I decided I want to focus on toy stuff today because uh, I still do have tomorrow. So instead of trying to squeeze in a whole art video today while doing toy stuff, I'm just gonna do more than three toy videos and clean up this room. It's a mess from my last big filming session. So there's stuff everywhere. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna start off by cleaning this room and then figure out what I wanna film, set all those things aside and start filming. Here's the progress. It's been pretty good. I've been doing a really thorough clean instead of my usual just throw away the garbage. I've been sort of organizing things like I got all my figo key rings in one place, all my Tsum Tsums in one place, that kind of thing. I've got some bagged items here just finally sorted, that kind of stuff. And then there's a bunch of just unsorted things and then there's my Pokemon cards which all need to be sorted and put in sleeves and stuff. Same with these but they're all just kind of off the floor, actually placed somewhere. Same with here, just hodgepodge of stuff for now but it's looking a lot better. I do need to sweep in here still, unpack these toys, um, find a place for this stuff still. Well, these, this is little kingdoms that can go in here. Okay. Boop. And um, yeah, this is some bail mail I received. This, These are just plastic bags that I can use for future garbage pickup. My Tsum Tsums. And then in here is all unopened stuff that can still be used for videos. So yeah. I think what would be really cool is to get some kind of storage that's also kind of a table slash dresser, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> some kind of storage unit, maybe for this wall or maybe I'll take this down. Since I don't do the green screen in my art videos anymore, I might take this down and then I could put it here, but some kind of counter-like storage with open squares on the bottom. I know there's a lot of storage like that, so it'd be pretty easy to find. And what I would set up on top mainly is this, my Calico Critter House, because I haven't opened that up yet mainly because I don't have a place to put it. But if I just had some kind of counter where I could put my Calico Critter stuff, that'd be great. And then underneath, what would be cool is getting baskets for other toys, but maybe clear plastic ones. That way you can see what's in each tub. So I'll have like a tub for my figural key rings because they're kind of hard to display. So they're probably just going to get thrown in tubs and like tubs for, I don't know, just assorted tubs for things might be nice. Anyway, right now I'm just kind of organizing some stuff to open up like, oh, this will be a video. That will be a video. Planning out what I'm going to open up. Some series three Amiibo cards, season four Shopkins. Another Kawaii box, that kind of stuff. Can't find my lint roller, bruh. Bruh! Normally I keep it in here, evidence. <laughs> but I must have taken it out to lint roll something and I can't find it. I already looked upstairs. Why the floor so dirty? Mother of God. This is a different lint roller, but it'll do. It'll do. Baby. Crazy baby, crazy baby, crazy baby. Crazy baby, crazy baby, crazy baby. Don't mess with Kiki, she'll mess you up. Don't mess with Midna, she'll shred you like she shreds all her boxes. See, look at little shredder got at it, didn't you? Didn't you? All my thingies are laid out. That makes for eight videos. I feel like I want to film more than that. 
just because I'm inspired after cleaning all this stuff up, but I'm probably be exhausted after filming it and be like, okay, I'm sick of reaching around this stupid camera. I'm sick of being under these lights. But I gotta set up. I gotta bring these lights over. I gotta bring in my tripod and camera and all that stuff that goes along with that. Microphones, the whole shit bang. So I decided before I wanted to start filming, I wanted to eat something because I just, I don't know, I wasn't that hungry, but I felt like it was bugging me and I wanted, I was like, I want to film all my videos in one go. So I was like, okay, I didn't feel like cooking anything though. So <coughs> I decided to just run to the mall, get my and W. <laughs> I was sitting at a table eating. I was about halfway through when this man walks up to me and he's super raggedy. Like he looked like he was most likely homeless, super stained clothes. Super greasy hair, just like really unkempt and like looked like he's probably a homeless guy. And he asked if I would buy him, like pay for him to ha get some food because he was really hungry and I don't have cash or anything. So I was like, well, I don't have cash, but like, I have a credit card. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, that'll work. And so I asked him what he wanted and um, he wanted some KFC. So I just went, like I packed up my stuff and um, walked over to KFC with him walked over like it was in the food court but <laughs> walked over to the KFC counter and um he ordered some stuff and I paid for it and everything and I don't know it just made me like super sad Vancouver is a pretty bad homeless problem um I'm just not used to seeing it because like in Gravelberg super small town no one's homeless and then Medicine Hat doesn't have any homeless people and um so moving to Vancouver was a lot different and um I don't know it just made me really sad like I left after that I didn't stay to finish eating I brought it back home but I was just like I almost cried when I was leaving I don't know I was like why am I being sad like this should make me happy that I'm helping someone out but I guess I don't know maybe I just felt sad for him or something so I don't know that was my little sad experience and now I need to like perk myself back up before I film I need to like hype myself up so I'm all a upbeat for my voiceover and everything but I'm just like and he ordered quite a bit of food, so either he was really hungry or he was maybe saving some for later. So, I don't know. But that's my little story that happened. Alright, just finished my eight videos. So, um, I'm just going to start transferring the clips onto my computer and then I'm going to come back and deal with all this. And take out some garbage because it's garbage night, right baby? Yeah. I don't know why I still have my shoes on. They're comfy. Nee, 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 nee. Christian got home just a few minutes after I finished filming, so that worked out perfectly. I'm gonna refill my water, finally take off my shoes. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna go lay on the couch next to Christian and read some Outlander. And that'll be the end to my day. Burr, burr. Come cuddle the snow, little babies. Baby. Are you trying to burrow your way down, little baby? There you go. She's a little stick tail. Find any goods? Anything interesting down there? Swallow that baby hole. Baby, where did you come from? Oh, a little baby. What a little sweetie. You look like you're gonna murder me. Christian went to go wash up for bed and I'm gonna do the same. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Baby, I'm right back. Baby on my back. A little purper baby. <laughs> You're such a sweetie.